Rab Nawaz's notebook, which would yield into night punishment. The poor cadet's day thus might be ruined at its very beginning. As the gentlemen cadets leave for their dormitories to get themselves ready for their classes, staff Rab Nawaz, like other drill staff, rushes for his next assignment, daily roll call of the gentlemen cadets. Soon the gentlemen cadets would be falling in for the attendance call. To the amazed cadets, however, the drill staff is nowhere to be seen. Is he late? Can he be? Cadets leave for their respective classes, and staff Rabnavaz, like other drill staffs, escorts them to their respective destinations. At any given time, nevertheless, he may emerge on the Pakistan Military Academy road to keep a vigilant eye on the gentlemen cadets. As the sound of marching drum fills in the background, the four adjutants appear on this historic trail. Gallantly mounting their horses, they add yet another blend of sobriety to the ambiance. The drill staff, as well as the adjutants, assure the decorum remains well maintained. A slight deviation on part of the cadets is promptly noticed by their piercing eyes, and what follows is a scolding reprimand. These three young cadets got late from their classes, and to make up for the delay, they try to take a shortcut. But at Pakistan Military Academy, there's no shortcut to excellence. One has to take the right path. No wonder the gentlemen cadets are checked and caught within no time. It's nevertheless the drill period where Staff Rabnavaz is seen at his best. It's his exclusive domain after all. The problem, however, is that his cadets are the fresh inductees, the raw lot that hardly understands what he shouts and with difficulty could match the pace of his drill. The sight beyond doubt is an interesting one. And it's not only the drill that has to be perfected, but the saluting ability of these gentlemen cadets also need perfection. As per rules, they can't leave the premises unless they are able to salute with precision. Catch, however, is that prior to the saluting test, he must know how to dress up to carry out an impressive salute. A dress test thus precedes the saluting test. The changing scenarios have also seen a slight addition to drill staff's role in the academy. Now, lady cadets are also being inducted in the Pakistan Military Academy, which calls for new methodology of training that although caters for the gender difference, yet remains as firm and rigorous as needed for a soldier. The senior cadets have to take charge at the quarter guards, where they perform their duties of vigilant vanguards of the academy under the apt guidance of the drill staff. On the other hand, some cadets are on punishment on this weekly off, and repeated bugle calls may await them at any given hour of the day. Conducted and supervised by the drill staff, the trick behind the bugle calls is that no one knows the place and timing of these calls. The cadets on punishment have to locate the place and have to present themselves in prescribed uniforms in less than five minutes. But rest assured, there does exist a humane face of these very stony-faced souls. One would hardly recognize him in civilian attire if bumped accidentally anywhere outside the academy. A rare insight to the staff canteen also reveals a different picture of these machines of a man, where a frank sharing of jokes, interesting experiences of the day, and exchange of pleasantries among the fellow comrades is not very uncommon. For the cadet, however, the drill staff remains the demon of a man, whose omnipresence can leave no one at peace. Nothing can be kept concealed from his eyes, and never will he be satisfied, no matter how much the poor cadet strives.
The gentlemen cadets are returning after a long and laborious exercise. Broken to bones, they long for reaching the academy for a comfortable sleep. Alas, the dreams would shatter, as on the gates of the academy, the boys are received by the meaningful smiles of the drill staff. But then, skin deep to this apathy lies a heart that loves his gentleman cadets like his own children. His only aim remains inculcating the best in his cadets, and for that, he's always ready to go an extra mile. The love-hate relationship often erupts the moment a drill staff finds the cadets in trouble, pain, or anguish. As the final passing out parade draws near, no gesture of Staff Rabnamaz reveals his pain to part from his cadets or his pride to see his students successfully passing out. He's stern as ever, vigilant as usual, and demanding perfection as always. Two years with him, however, have enabled the gentleman cadets to see through the rock of his personality and discover the golden heart that lies beneath. Soon the gentlemen cadets will be leaving the academy, but more than the sights and sounds of its lush fields, they will be carrying with them the legacy of their drill staff. He's no more a stranger now, but a perfect guide who will continue to lead them ever. They now mirror the unrighteousness of their drill staff's personality and the values that they gained surely came from this seemingly humble soul. The gentlemen cadets may go as high as possible, but deep beneath the edifices of their respective personalities, their drill staff will live ever after.